you guys could, you know, try my idea. Just let us do whatever the hell we want I mean, and then make an MLP ball. Yeah. We are working on an MLP ball. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's that going to be like? Doing the dynamic testing to figure Doing it out. Doing the dynamic yeah. testing. Oh, you won't get I think it. we ordered, <laughs> uh, you know, there's uh, the hardness measurement. And I think the USA Pickleball measurement is a uh, 50 on a durometer, which is like this basically just push this machine into the ball. And then again, like how much pressure it takes to rebound it or push it back to a certain degree. Uh, I think 50 on the durometer is the measurement. And I think we ordered balls that are like we ordered balls in different colors. So like green and yellow and like 52, 50 or 42, 44, 46, 48, 50 all of, in, in both colors because color affects the dye affects, you know, the, um, the performance of the ball. And then we're going to do testing, um, get player feedback and to determine what we think is the sweet spot for, mm. for a ball. Mm. But, do you think, I personally think that the ball technology is holding back professional play somewhat considerably mm. because when you hit a different p- part of the ball, the ball reacts differently yeah. off of your paddle, depending on how close you hit it to a hole. Right. So you could, you, yeah. you could, or, or what part or the of the marking on the ball. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. what, what type, what part of the ball mm-hmm. you hit depend changes mm-hmm. how the ball comes off of your, your paddle. And I don't, th- I think that'll be an upper barrier on right now you hit the ball the same exact way twice and you'll have two different <laughs> outcomes, yeah. right? That doesn't yeah. happen in, in tennis. It doesn't happen in basketball. It doesn't happen in, in any of these other sports to mm-hmm. my to my knowledge, right? The variability of the ball, I think, makes it tough to be really, really precise with with your shots. Is there anything that, like, any theories or any anything out there that you think could make this ball more consistent? I mean, one thing that I thought about is just, like, having different size holes, I think, made some sense at one point, but, like, I don't know. I, I Different size holes from ball to ball. Well, You're from all the same ball, ball on but the there's same also ball. on the same ball, they're spaced out differently. Yeah. Like, could you make a wiffle ball slow enough that doesn't have a hole? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I, I think we're going to do testing and I think we'll learn a lot from that testing. And we are working on some things to develop stuff that I can't talk about that uh, <laughs> we think, like will improve it. Well, I think we see a path to getting away from the paddle conversation, blame it on the balls. <laughs> It, it is a common denominator and it is something that you can not manipulate, but, um, you know, make the standards of the ball such that maybe the paddles, maybe you allow for a higher paddle because the yeah. ball is softer. Right. Like, um, it is, and it is the common denominator. So it's something hmm. to look at for sure. Yeah. The ball is in the control of the referee and MLP. Yeah. The paddle, who knows? The paddles, what yeah. The chain of custody of, <laughs> of the ball is very different than the paddle. Hmm. Gotcha. 